Okay, so now we're going to start cutting up these wall units here. I have, um, my roofing is pretty much all but done for the moment. I was thinking maybe further down I could, um, start going to mix and match in some of what we have here. And, uh, maybe, like, kind of take what we have and create new things from that. Like, for example, if I was to take this object, and I'll just duplicate him out for the moment. Because these are pretty much UV'd and matching up and they're all kind of perfect in their own way. I could take something like this and let me just let me just select some of these parts here. And let me have a look at this side here and select okay, I'll manually select this. Okay, I'm going to break off a copy of this with Shift, D, and I'll right click, and now P, and separate the selection. Now just, I can take things like this and just kind of have them separate as well. But then looking at this object, I can say, well, this is, if we go to wireframe, this would actually fit perfectly in here, wouldn't it? So I can just remove them, remove those faces. Take him and snap him in there. And you can see now the tiling is still perfect. If you look on the inside. Alright, it's using the new texture, but that doesn't matter because we have Zen, which will easily just let us highlight this, go to UV editing, and now select here in our editor window, and I can just move those UVs up. Go back to modeling. And there we go. So we can actually just... Well, actually suppose, like while I'm at it, I'll copy that. And give it another instance here. So we can start taking what we've already done and... Really set up diff uh, different versions of it. It's, it's really... Ugh, it's really, really simple now. Now that all the groundwork is done, and because we put all that extra effort into getting the UVs perfect. Here we go. It's quite nice, I'm going to keep that. So I'll select him, him, and finally, the main piece, and I want to press Control J. And there we go. We have another variant of this one. So I want to just add these into their own collection for the moment. I'll get back to them at a later, later date. And I'm just going to press... M, add to new collection, and let's call this roofing. I can see it here, I'll just knock that off for the moment. Alright, let's get cutting up some, some walls. So in the last video I made a, another cutter, cutter object for cutting the floor tiles. I'll just turn that on. And now because this is, if I go into top down, and highlight that, yeah, so I can see that this is two, two squares by two squares. Every every cut is two by two. It just so happens that our uh, our wall units are also two by two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to repurpose this. I'm going to press Shift D, and I'm going to call this one Wall Cutter. I'll just turn off floor, so I'm only left with the wall. Now I just need to set our set yeah set the pivot point to this. To the point to the bottom here because I want to stand this one up 90 degrees I'm gonna take our basic wall unit here I'm gonna press alt G and set him to world center he's the one I'm gonna cut up first so let me think in order to do this the pivot is a little below here so I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say set origin to geometry I'll press alt G and that will drop him to the floor now what I want to do is go into edit mode Two to go to edge selection, A to press everything, select everything. I'll go top view and I'm just going to move the geometry, keep the pivot point where it is, and now we'll have it at the base. So when I come out of edit mode, I can go to rotate and just rotate him standing 90 degrees. Now I can just kind of push him back a little so he's not actually in the way of the geometry. So if I go into front view, I can see here. Okay, so it is two by two. I actually should have moved that a little. I don't want this wall 
to have a cut down the center line of it. I don't need that because it's already two by two. So what I actually should have done, and I'll do it now, is I'm going to move the cutter to the left. So now our wall units sit perfectly in between the, the slices, which is exactly what we want. But because I moved this, I need to reset the location again. So I'll press Q and reset all transforms of the cutter. Silly me. There we go. Now I'm just going to push him in the background where he won't be in the way. So now we can get cutting. Right, so I'll select this wall and go into front autographic. And the same process as always, I'm going to tap them into edit mode. I don't need that center line, so X and dissolve. I'll press treat, select polys, A to select everything. Control, click the cutter, go to mesh, knife project, and just make sure cut through is on. Yeah, there we go, that's cut. I'll just go to edge selection here and select and dissolve any crooked edges that appeared. So X, dissolve edges. All right, there's one wall done. I'll select them. Let's look at this material. I'll remove that. Give him Atlas 01. And I will go into image editing. No, apologies again, UV editing. Um, I want to give myself the first diffuse 01 texture here and I'll zoom on the object. Right, little stretched. Let's start cutting it up. U and unwrap. And I'll actually just unwrap everything here. Alright, that looks like everything. So I'm going to select my square objects square cuts and I will with individual origin selection selected here I think maybe by default that might be set to bounding box points or something when doing this we want to set it to uh, individual origins so that when we expand or fill island it's going to take every individual face and expand every face out to fit our island and then we can just select everything by pressing a in this view and pack now we have we have a packed to the roof here which we don't need but first i will fix the rotation Okay, now I'll go to transform and I'll move it to the right on each. There we go, there's our wall texture now. Now I'll quickly just do these. I'll just select each and make sure block overlapping is turned on. A to select everything and pack. And now I will move. In transform move to the, the right side now we can actually have a look here this these two will need to be rotated once so rotate and pack again and transform and move it back I think actually maybe I'll move my edit box over here since we're kind of done with the roof for the moment now let me just have a look at the tiling on this we're never going to get this perfect, but I'd rather kind of project the tiling from the front on this. So I know that this part of the texture, the edge, starts from here. So in order for this to be tileable, seamless, this piece of uh, UV island has to join up at this edge. So I'll turn on my snap with increment snap turned on. Select. And I'll just move this across and let it snap. No, it won't snap. Okay. I thought it would snap to the center there. Instead, I will 
Just bring it up by eye. I'll actually I'll do the bottom as well here. I need to get rid of that. Set, um, where's my edit button? Finish editing. Get rid of that yellow line there so I can see this a little better. Now I think this might be upside down. So I'll rotate this twice. There we go. Now we can see that crack actually is tiling. So that's how we know we're, we're the right way around. This one here actually is not. So I'll rotate it again. There we go. Now let's have a look at this side. Okay, that's that's tile in there. Let's just check the bottom one. Yep, tile. Okay. Now this guy, because it's wrapping around, coming down the front of that wall and wrapping underneath. I know that I need this to meet at the top, so I can bring him in. Here I can actually turn on constrain. So I'll right click, add that to my quick favorites. Make sure it's turned on and snap that there. And this should be fine here. I'll just rotate it see how it looks. Okay, it doesn't actually make a noticeable difference on that. I'll take that as it is for the moment, I think. Okay, so there's one piece done. Go back to modeling. And I'll move him off to the side here. Okay, so that's the basic flow of what we're going to be doing for all these. So I'll do one more. Or maybe I'll take a corner unit here. And then I will do... Let me just go into front view here. This might actually be a little different because of the pivot setup here. So I might actually have to think about this one. Um, okay. I'll actually set this up manually, I think. I want to line this up with the dark grid line. And yeah, that actually works here. So what I'm doing is I'm zooming in close enough so I can see those secondary grid lines. And I can then snap to the secondary lines and that'll bring me in right on the corner here. Okay, so with that, I'll get one and a bit, I think. Yeah, okay, So because the corners are taken into consideration that they're actually larger. I don't think it's going to be an issue, though. What I'll do is I'll just, give, I'll just give it a go. Control, select my cutter, and I'll go through the usual here. Right, so there's one, two, and then we've got some problems actually I never considered this okay I shouldn't be an issue I think if I just rotate and line up again on the the same way on the grid so that's 90 degrees and it actually lines up there nicely so I don't think I have to do any more moving on that I'll just give it a cut and see what happens Alright. Okay, not bad. I'll turn off the cutter for the moment and have a bit of optimizing I need to do here. So I can't just weld. I can't just weld these because I need them there. Um I don't Let me think about this one. Okay, well I know I know I know I don't need these, so I'll weld him. At last. These edges are not necessary. I'll dissolve them. Have I got any end gone showing up here? I don't think I do. Okay, I don't actually think I can really do much about that. I 
I kind of have to just take that as it is. It's not a problem though. Um, I'll get it. I'll get it textured and see how it looks. So, add the atlas, and I'll go through this. I'm just going to select and unwrap the square faces first. Right. So let's go into UV editing. I'll select all the square faces here. Make sure individual origins is turned on and fill island. Now I'll press A, select everything here and pack. Okay, so here I'm actually just going to set my target box back to the tiles. To roof tiles, just so I can see what needs to be rotated. So Okay, with all that, I will pack, and now I'll fix this up. I should probably do this with all of them. Those um, roof tiles are handy to have here. At least I can see the perfect orientation, what needs to be turned or not. Alright, so that's all the, the right turns done. No, it's not. Now it is. Okay, I'll quickly just do these then. These will be a little trickier, I think. More so on the top face, as in up here, because we got those corners to contend with. Right, let's just start with this and see how it goes. I need to get him lined up first, so I will select him and pack. Right, I know he needs to be on the right side of the, the map and rotate twice okay looking all right there so now with all that in place I can tell how to do this so I want to rotate this and I'll pack Okay, there's our problem. Right, so that is a full square. That means this is overlap. So that means our full square should really only be this. So I'm gonna re-unwrap that. And I'll pack. Rotate it and pack again. I think it's upside down here. There we go, and now Yeah, that looks all right there. So now I just have to add this little triangle on. Now I can rescale it. Okay, something like that looks probably okay. It's a little wide, I think. So I'm looking at that not lining up too well there. Um, where's this end? Okay, yeah, so I can see that cut off there on this side, which means this little triangle should be on this side here. Yeah, so I'm in the right place. Maybe it's just a little, but oh, there's our problem. Into the wall. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, 
quite a bit of manual on, on these corners, but uh, still, it's doable. I'll pack that. And these. Okay, I need to rotate this fella. And this one. Now, this guy has to be on this side. These are on the right side, I think, yeah. Okay, so these guys unwrap, I'll pack them, rotate him twice. This guy. Same story there. And these. Okay, so all these need to be turned. And just this top one now. So he has to be rotated. And pack. All right, let me think about this logically. If he's the follow up to this guy, with him being the corner, which would make the triangle piece would come out that way, but on this side of the tile. So I see what I'm doing around here now. I'll just. That should be it there. Okay. Right, let me try this. So, technically this shouldn't fail because it's literally just putting it back together. And now I can just move him to the far side. There we go. That did not need to be as confusing as I made it. But there you have it. Right, I'll just, uh, I'll just select everything here. Oh, that's the bottom. I'm not too worried about that for the moment. I'll do him off camera. I want to get this video finished here. Um, I'm just going to move everything back to the bricks. All right, now let's just have a look at what we already done and see if it's tiling. I'll go into modeling for this. Now, perfect. And the top looks alright. Not that we're ever going to really see the top, because we're going to have the roof and all on this, but uh, I suppose it's just nice to know that it's perfect. In case you ever wanted an exposed roof like, or top like that. So I'm just going to get these fixed up here. And I'll probably... Maybe for... I'll get the other corner done off camera, I think. And then when we come back, we'll just focus on getting the windows done then. So yeah, the walls aren't going to take very long at all. So I'll uh, catch you all in the, the next.